So I would take 5% of my income every year and I would invest in myself. Oh, so nice. If I made a hundred grand, I would spend $5,000 the next year on courses and books. And I encourage you all to do the Excellent Seminars International or Be More You. There yeah. are two companies that are, that are out there. Um, it's a good start. Yeah. Um, the other thing which I would, and I'm certainly, we can talk more about it later. There's another course called The Way of the Heart. Um, What's well, phenomenal, absolutely yeah. phenomenal. And the Gila Gulab course. Nice. So, and we'll put links to all these two in our, in our show notes and stuff so people can find yeah. them. And yeah. um, you can tell them Bill sent you. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. And have a coach. It's very important to have a coach. And yeah. change your coaches too. I never stuck with a coach. I would change coaches because every coach that brings a different value to you. But then you may, I was seen, I was outgrowing my coaches. And I was, I was outgrowing them, but I just got all the information I could from then I moved on to a different coach. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a great perspective, you know, and I think sometimes as, as coaches too, we get scared if our clients are going to leave, but I think it's really actually a great thing. Like if, if yeah. they've done their work with you, how amazing now they can go on to, you know, the next level or someone who does something different to provide a new perspective and new growth. Um, so you don't kind of get stuck also in your own patterns. That's right. right? Yes. Because I think that's, that's, that's really, 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 really important. There is an intuitive I work with too. Her name's Susan Fluick, and she's amazing. Yeah. That's $105 you'll ever spend. <laughs> um, and what she says is that you can't, you can't, you're in the jar and you can't see the label from the inside. Patty says the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> we, we relate it to marketing and stuff too, but it's so true, right? You just can't see it, can't read it. <laughs> That's right. Perspective, super important. Yeah, perspective is huge. So, so, so big. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's yeah. uh, it's crazy. And you know, the other thing that I that one of the things that I've learned from you, which was hugely important in my life, was the power of surrender. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so maybe talk a little bit about that. Sure. <laughs> There's a book and, called yeah, The Surrender the Experience. That's not the easiest thing to do. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> so there was a, <clears throat> a fellow named by Michael Singer. He wrote the book called The Surrender Experience. And Georgie, um, I have an interview. He does a, an hour podcast, which I have. So oh, remind cool. me and I'll email it to you. So you can put awesome. it on to your, to your Yeah, that'd be listener. great. And it is. It's, it's all about surrendering, you know, and it's hard. And I'm still learning that today. Oh. Yeah. And, but the more we just surrender and give it up to the universe, it comes back. Yeah. It really, really does. Yeah. It was a really, that was, it was such an impactful book for me. Like, honestly, it was just, I was like, Oh no, I love Bill even more. Cause I really, really, really needed that so badly. Um, and yeah, not, not the easiest thing to do for sure. You know, like, Oh God. Sometimes I'm like, no, I don't want to, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but really powerful. Yeah. Yeah, it is. In the, I'm hearing from what you're saying, kind of a balance of working on yourself and also um, working in your business. Like when we were talking about habits just a few moments ago, you said, you, you gave your daily habits for what you did for you. And then you said, and then I just worked. And I have a feeling that within, then I just went to work, that there were also some, some habits um, and maybe some focus or prioritization or action or something like that, that you were also engaged in um, that complemented the surrender and the personal work would you say that's true could you give us more information about that um so if i heard you correctly um i only i learned about i didn't really learn about surrendering until many many years later but uh um when you say i just go to work you know um I mean, the thing with, um, with real estate, you just get a, get a, you got to get on the phone and just start calling, cold calling all the time. So, 
you know. Um, now, for business people, you know, you need, you may need more than one person on your team. And, and, and so I was lucky at a very early in my career, um, Dave Linegar from Remax says that, you know, the average realtor makes $102 an hour. This is 1990. And, um, and you can hire an assistant for $10 an hour, which should pay 50% tax for your hiring someone for five bucks an hour. So please write this down. This is uh, delegate to be great. Mm. You got to do what you do best and hire out the rest. Now you may not have the money, but you know, you might uh, at the time, but you can't do it all. Uh, this reminds me of another book called the, the E-Myth from Martin yeah. Gerber. But anyways, um, I don't know if I got your question. Well, I, I think you kind of touched on it when you said uh, about making calls and um, being on the phone all day. Sometimes I kind of get information from people where they're like, oh, I'm doing all the spiritual stuff and the visualization and the affirmations and business is just going to show up. I'm using the law of attraction. I don't have to do anything. And what I'm hearing from you is that you spent a lot of time talking to uh, potential listings and sales. Mm -hmm. It's true, but I still want to bring any business in. <laughs> when I first did it. So, um, well, was that a skill thing or was that all of the... Uh, no, uh, what it is... Oh my God, this is down a big rabbit hole, but we'll try it. <laughs> um, Again, working with this healer um, and learning how to receive. Mm. And at the time, um, it's always good to have your spouse um, look, at, I mean, be, have your support as well. So at the time, I wasn't bringing any money in and, and, uh, and Lily, uh, was a school teacher, but she was also seeing the healer too, and uh, or coach, and um, and she was complaining because because she was too busy paying for my speed and tickets, she couldn't afford a haircut. <laughs> and and it was interesting is is that so that so the Anne had said okay that's going to come to an end. You are no longer paying for anything for Bill. I'm going, what? That doesn't make sense. She's got, she's making money. No. So I had to go and get a loan. But I felt like, wow, was that empowering? Mm. It was so empowering. Do you, you know? think when you did more work on yourself, mm -hmm. that then how you showed up in the calls and the people you were talking to shifted as well? But do you, think, um, do you know how when you're so? No, you know, I, I would say yes. I I would say that. Well, for me, I um, I say I would just say I started attracting people in my life that opened open up doors. Yeah, because you know how when you're in scarcity and yeah. you're desperate, I believe that energy comes through to people. So if you're making calls and things like that, and you're like, oh my god, if I don't make this sale, I'm gonna die. You know, yeah. I really feel like our energy transmits kind of to people in situations. So yeah. when you can get into that space of, okay, you know, I'm open to receiving, you know, things happen for me, not to me. You, you approach things a little bit, how, how you show up almost energetically is, is, is different. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, there's less of that um, yeah. desperation and panic. As a, so then, the, and then, and then I think you do see the opportunities of people coming to you. You're more open to, oh, look at this person, and then this person introduces you to this person. Because if I look at like at my life too, it's been so much like that where it looks almost magical that people just appear, you know. Yeah. Um, but it's still, I'm just kind of still doing the things, going through life, like say focused on, on what I want to, to have and attract and that kind of thing, doing the, doing the action steps of it and being very open and aware to what's coming in as well. And going, yep. oh, I'll go there because that's showing up. Or I'll go there because that's showing up. Okay, okay. Yeah. 
you know, so um, it's such a combination. It is. And there, there's one part that we haven't talked about yet. And it's really, it's about family lineage. And um, yeah, I don't know how to say this in such little time. But basically that um, there is a, a book called The Emotion Code from Dr. Bradley Nelson. Have you yeah. read it? Yeah. So there's a, there's a practitioner called Nora Wolf, um, another great person to go see. Yeah. And I, would, I, I would always see somebody and, you know, and they all have, we're all going down this path and they're all helping us down this path. And so Nora really helped me with a lot of my low self. She says, oh, I'm picking up low self-esteem from both parents. Mm. Let's get rid of that. Oh, this is going on. This is from your, your, your mother's side, six generations below um, the spell that's going on or, or whatever, you know, and, um, and yeah, it's, it's amazing that how all these people have helped. Well, and because, you know, I think we often forget that we're a system. We're not a silo, right? So everything right. is, is operating in a bigger system. So we have to look at all the different pieces and see how it's all connected, how we're connected in the world and to other people and to you know, the universe at large, as well as what we're bringing forward through our family and all that history and back and back and back. And often we forget and we want to silo things and think you know, all of our problems or the, or the solutions are found in only, only in this box. But if we don't look at the bigger picture, Yep. and how everything's connected, we're really, really missing out on, on a lot. And it yeah. becomes way more challenging, I believe. Yeah. So, and yeah. It's exactly. And, and I can't express enough to take Gila Gulib's course. It's called What's Your Wake Up Call? Ah. <laughs> awesome. And, um, <laughs> yeah, I can't express it enough. And what's cool about her, she has these um, Tuesday night circles and the, she's been, this has been going on for 25 years and she's been having anywhere from 25 to 60 people every wow. Tuesday night, 49 weeks out of the year. Wow. Amazing. Right? So now with this epidemic going on, now she went online and every two, last Tuesday, there was a hundred over 125 people that was on her zoom call. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So cool. And, and what's cool about her work is it's repetitious. Anytime you do a course, you go through it, you all rah, rah, rah. And then you go back to your, you know, because we repeat 95% of our thoughts, right? Exactly. And, and, and as Gila says over and over again, 100% of reality is from 100% of our thoughts. Right. And, and so until you can, you know, this is repetitious, you know, creating good habits. So good habits of exercise. Yes. You know, <clears throat> I have a habit of, I get to have the privilege of seeing our uh, Gila once a week, reminding me, reminding my ego of how to, what things I need to keep, keep in place. And we all have stuff that comes up. And it's, and as Gila says, it's, it's from zero to six years old. Yeah. It's all from our childhood wounds. Yeah. And we keep repeating those things. Exactly. We keep repeating well, them. And I think it's, it's what you said is so important, right? It's that continuous implementation and practice, implementation and practice. It's never one and done. You know, it's, we have to stay just, just, just like the exercise, right? You don't go to one aerobics class or one weight class and woohoo, I'm fit for life. No, we have to, we do it right every single day. And I think our own inner work is like that. Our own business work is like that. It, it's always that continual practice and implementation. And then having the people that can support us to see our blind spots or guide us through the places where we're stuck, right? Like coaches and healers and personal trainers and all those kinds of things that just keep us on the path and make it so much easier. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm noticing the time. So if anyone in our group has questions for Bill, because I want to be respectful of your time as well, um, please, please, please type them in because you, you just might not get this access to this wealth of knowledge in any time in the near future. Who knows? So if you have any questions, um, please, please, please type them in. That would be awesome. What, um, while they're typing, I yeah. asked 
I ask that if everybody, uh, once you send the email about this Saturday for the meditation, yes. if you can share it with as many people as possible, then this virus will be over and we can get back to a different world. We'll never be the same, but yes. at least we'll, we'll be all back to work and prosperity will happen again. Exactly. And I think it's, you know, even if this is something, because they're looking for at least a million meditators to come together to meditate together at our time, Pacific Coast here would be 7.45 p.m. Um, and even if it's something that you're like, yeah, I'm not really sure about that, I would invite you to at least try it because best case scenario, we're totally going to change the world. Worst case scenario, you're going to get 20, 20 minutes of undivided attention to go inside yourself and get a little bit of peace. So I'm not seeing the downside of, of yeah. any, any way of it. You know what I mean? So um, I really, really, really want to encourage people to, to, to just give it a go, you know, and, and I, cause I think the more we can come together as a global community and do things together and recognize that we are all connected, you know, that we are this one huge complete system yeah. and not separate ourselves that the bigger difference we'll make in the world and the yeah. faster it will happen. Yeah, exactly. Um, so people are loving the books. They want a good list Lots of, of all questions the books. About the books. <laughs> so we will definitely put all the books on there. Lots of note taking and writing notes like crazy. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. 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 Yeah. This has been awesome. Thank you so, 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 so much, awesome. Bill, for yes, yes, you know, yes. and, sharing and I'll, your And I'll send you that, uh, that podcast of the yes. Trender Experience. Definitely do that. And we will share it with everybody. And you'll be seeing this all over the internet. <laughs> Woohoo! Awesome. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, you so later, much. Bill. <laughs> so welcome. Okay. Take care. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on a our first live edition of interviewing someone, which is very cool and fun. Um, we will be back tomorrow talking about pricing. Oh yes, pricing <laughs> numbers. <laughs> pricing numbers. Um, we have a comment here about um, uh, business success and personal growth are so interconnected. Uh, it is so, 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 so true. Um, and yeah, I, I really appreciate that, you know, for me appreciated uh, an episode that focuses on that and we will be seeing more of that um, in the future uh, from yes. guests and uh, and also for Georgie. <laughs> totally yeah and you know it's it's interesting what, when which I didn't get Bill to mention this but one thing Bill used to do especially with his affirmations when he was just getting started is when he would drive in his car every time he came to a stoplight he would stop at the stoplight and say his affirmations and then drive stop stoplight affirmations and he literally did it all the time so it's interesting just little tricks of how he incorporates those things um into his life but but yeah i love that we're that we're covering both pieces of this because clearly both are very important yeah uh, absolutely and if you listen to bill he attributes all of his success basically to the personal development work that he's done. And for those of you who are listening in and who offer those kinds of services, uh, I suggest listening to this interview and hearing what he says, because what you are hearing from is a sample of a very, very good um, kind of future client to keep in mind. Uh, when you think about selling your services, this is the kind of impact it has on people's lives. Um, and that can be a nice angle to listen um, to what he says through that filter, how much value he places on this, how privileged he feels to meet with his coach on a weekly basis. Um, uh, that, exactly. <laughs> something I picked up on. I'm just gonna, <laughs> just gonna well, highlight that for the people who, who sell those kind of services. And I, and I also want you to notice for those of you who are asking who's buying right now, Bill spends 5% of his income every single year on personal development. When he, he made his first million in 19, 
94. That was only number one, <laughs> okay? So when you're wondering if people are buying, yes, they are buying. And when you do, like Patty said, if you are providing these services, they are critical and they are important and people need them. You know, and we will continue to, to bring you people who are really, really successful. And this is the cornerstone of what they're crediting their success to. So know that they are out there and they are waiting for you. Um, yeah, and we, we'll, we'll help you with your messaging and all that kind of stuff, but know that, that they're there and they need you and they value you. You know, often I think when we, when we get a little bit challenged with, do I feel value and can I really help people? Yes, and now we're not just saying that, you just heard from someone else who is literally putting his money where his mouth is, you know? So it's awesome. All right. So uh, thank you for being here. Uh, we will be uh, back tomorrow. <laughs> we'll, talk about, we'll talk about numbers and pricing and stuff exactly. like that. <laughs> exactly. That's right. Practical stuff tomorrow, people. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye-bye.